Today we're talking about ceramic cones to give you a perfect lip every time. Sometimes, especially when I throw a vessel really thin, if I let it sit and dry, the top will be a little bit oblong. It'll, it'll warp in one direction. Um, and I've tried a number of things to fix that. I tried using paper, I tried 3D printing cones, but what I found best is just throwing these little cones on the wheel. And these are glazed, here I'll let you look real close up here. These are just hand thrown and glazed. It uses less, it uses about maybe a couple ounces of, uh, it doesn't use very much clay at all. And then I just set it on the top like that while it's drying. I usually wait till it's leather hard to the touch or whether it's, it's not tacky to the touch here. And then I'll set this in there and kind of wiggle it to make sure it keeps its, it's filling out that whole circle. And then I'll just set it there while it's drying. And what this has done is I, I don't have any oblong lips anymore. That's perfectly circular lips. Come on in here, brother. Let me show you. So as this is drying here, they just stay circular. Now, usually they do this, but sometimes, especially when it's thin, this one feels a little bit stuck. Yeah. That one must have been a little bit too wet when I first put it on there. You can see it just keeps that form circular while it's drying. Okay, so this is a very small amount of clay. This is like maybe two or three ounces of clay. And I just threw it all the way to the... In fact, let me show you how I did it. So we are gonna make one of these. I got about three ounces of just kind of scrap clay. Uh, this is our new tile spinner. You can check it out here. It does, it does uh, hexagon tiles, huge uh, 10 inch hexagon tiles and then the six inch tiles, and it also does the four and a quarter inch tiles here. So, the hardest part about this is just getting that thing, little thing centered, because you got so little space there. Okay, so I got it centered. Now I'm gonna go all the way to the base. You want to get from the top here, you'll be able to see what I'm doing here. So basically, I've got it all the way in here, I'm going all the way out. So you see, I, that's that's not a mug, <laughs> that's not a cup, that's a hole in the middle. And then I'll just throw this up. Okay, you can move out just a hair. It's a little bit of a sloppy job, but that is all there is to making one of these little volcanoes that you can use to uh, keep your lips perfectly circular. Let me pop it out here. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so I will cut this off once it's leather hard and then I'll let it dry, we'll glaze it, we'll fire it, and once it's fired, it's got that glaze finish on there, that's when I usually use it. You could use it at the bisque stage, that would be just fine too, although it wouldn't be quite as slick. So it might kind of stick to your rim a little bit, but uh, using them glazed has been fine by me. I'm MJ Outpost Pottery, thanks for watching and keep on learning.